Let's make my charming shoe fly, which uses half a charm pack. All you will need is 18 5 inch squares and one 2 and a half inch by Witho fabric strip. Feel free to use your scraps or even a leftover jelly roll strip. Now first you will take your two and a half inch by Witho fabric strip and sub cut them into 15 two and a half inch squares. Then you will select six five inch squares and sub cut them into two two and a half inch by five inch rectangles per each five inch square. This will leave you with a total of 12 two and a half inch by five inch rectangles. Then with your remaining 12 five inch squares, you are going to take one two and a half inch background square and place it on a corner of your print five inch square. It can be any corner, but all you have to do is place them right sides together and sew a 45 degree line from corner to corner down the center. Now, if you prefer, you can use a fabric marking tool and draw a 45 degree line and then sew directly on that line. Either way will do just fine. But once you've sewn on the line, you will then take a pair of fabric scissors or a rotary cutter and trim a quarter inch away from your sew line. And then go ahead and press that open. And all you have to do is repeat this step to all of your 12 5 inch squares. Afterwards, it is time to piece your block together. All you have to do is take four five inch squares and place them like so, followed by four two and a half inch by five inch rectangles separating them. And lastly, a solid two and a half inch square in the center to create a traditional shoe fly box. You'll sew your blocks together to form rows, and then lastly, sew your rows together to complete your quilt block. Now your block will measure as a 11 and a half inch square. Now all you have to do is repeat this step until you have created a total of three quilt blocks. Then once your blocks are done, you will lay them side by side and sew your blocks together into a row. And here is what my charming shoe fly looks like all finished. For the backing, I am using a coordinated print from within the collection and glide threads in the color mocha. And here is what my quilt looks like all quilted. Your quilt will measure as a 11 inch by 33 inch table runner and feel free to expand on this pattern so you can use up all of your scraps. But I do hope you have enjoyed today's tutorial. If you could please take a moment to hit that like and subscribe button hit the notification bell so you can be notified for your next amazing quilt project.